All right, so it's January 30th, 2025. The NVIDIA 50 series has launched to about 50 people across the entire world. And we have a brand new NVIDIA app update as well as new drivers. And a lot of people are wondering, how do you enable this new DLSS 4 transformer model globally? Well, it looks like NVIDIA has not <laughs> given us that option yet. This is something that a lot of us were expecting. If you saw my other video of how to enable DLSS 4 in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, as well as other games, a lot of us were talking about this update coming and how it should be an option to enable it globally here, but it looks like it isn't. So we do have a couple of options to get around that. If you're looking to enable DLSS 4 in a specific game that supports it, what you need to do is you need to go into program settings here under graphics, click on the three dots here and refresh your list of games. Not all of your games are going to show up here, only supported games by the NVIDIA app. So for example, we have Cyberpunk, which of course is supported. If you scroll down, You'll see these options here for a DLSS override. What you want to do is click on this edit button here where it says use the 3D application setting. And if you choose latest, it's going to use the latest version of everything. But if you want to customize it, you can click over here where it says use different settings for each DLSS technology. And then from there, you can decide what you want to update to the latest. There are different presets here. Of course, I'll copy and paste that to the description so you can read it a little bit better. But these are the presets. Basically, you want to use preset E if you're using DLSS 3. That's the best one. Uh, there's no real reason to use A through D. It's older, it's older technology unless you have a very specific use case. So just use preset E for DLSS 3. And then for the new DLSS 4, preset J was the newest version last week. This year, it's preset K. And in the rest of the video, I'm going to show you how to enable preset K globally for those games that can take advantage of it. So as far as the NVIDIA app goes, that's as about as useful as it is for DLSS 4 at the moment. Any games that support it will have the options here down below, but there's nothing that you can do globally regarding that. So we're going to go ahead and get around that. What we need to do first is enable the new model globally. So what we're going to use for that is NVIDIA Inspector. Of course, I'm going to link to that in the description and we're going to change some settings here. Anything you see that's darker here are my own settings. So you can ignore that. This is a global profile. So all the changes you make are going to be global. If you'd like to make changes just for a specific game, you can click on the sun icon here to create a new profile, enter a name for that profile, and then navigate to the game's exe file, and it'll create a new profile. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to do it globally because that's the purpose of the video. We're going to want to enable preset K, which is the absolute latest version of DLSS 4. So the first thing you want to do is scroll down to the fifth section here under common. You're going to see DLSS 3.1.11 plus forced DLSS 3.1 preset letter, base profile only. And you want to change this to what I have in the description. Or you could just click on the drop down and select the one that ends in a B. So it's 0x, a ton of zeros, and then B. And then you want to go ahead and click apply on the top right. After that, you want to scroll way down to the other section. Under section 8, there's another section here. You want to find enable DLSS dash SR override, which is towards the top here. And you want to change that to what I have in the description or just click on the drop down and select the only other option that ends in a one. Click on apply, scroll back down and you want to find override DLSS-SR presets. It's going to be in the same section further down. And you want to select the one that ends in a bunch of Fs. So it's the last option or you go ahead and copy and paste it from the description. Click on apply again. And now you have enabled preset K with the new transformer model. For games that don't have native DLSS4 support, you're going to have to replace the DLSS file. You can do that manually by downloading the DLSS file and putting it in the appropriate directory. But since I got so many comments on my last video saying just use DLSS Swapper, I'm actually going to go ahead and just use DLSS Swapper for this. And we'll use Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as an example. On the left side here, you're going to find this library button and you're going to want to download the latest version of DLSS. For DLSS 4, it's version 3.10.1. So that downloads that file globally in DLSS Swapper. Then you could swap back to your library. Click on the game that you want to replace the DLSS file for. Click on where it says DLSS here and select the version. I've already downloaded this DLSS file and applied it. So it already shows it, but just hit swap there and it'll be there for frame generation and ray reconstruction. Not all games support this. This is one that does not support it. So you don't have to worry about that. If you want to make sure this is working in your games, you can edit your registry to enable an overlay in game. I guess I'll do that for the video just so we can all confirm that it's actually working. So you want to open registry editor. So just type reg edit in your search, right click run as administrator. And this is the directory that you want to navigate to. Of course, everything's in the description. Right click on the space here, select new D word 32 bit value, name it show DLSS indicator. 
as it's seen here, right click on that, modify it, select decimal and enter the value of 1024. This is going to enable an overlay in your games indicating which version of DLSS you're running. Uh, if you want to get rid of it, just delete this and it'll be gone. Let's go ahead and launch Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and hopefully the overlay works and we'll see that we're using preset K and it does on the bottom left there you can see render preset K it may be hard to see because of my resolution but it says render preset K DLSS v310.2.1 I'm going to let these shaders cook and that's pretty much it that's how you can enable the new preset K with the transformer model uh, for DLSS4 <laughs> globally hopefully Nvidia enables this functionality in their app in the future and we don't have to resort to all of these workarounds to get the most out of our GPUs. All right, once again, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.